Hello beautiful souls. That's the mindset that you have to assume at this stage of your life, divine feminine. It's very important for you to be obedient. You are extremely powerful. But this message is very, very specific. This may not resonate with everyone here, but I'm definitely getting that this divine feminine, you are extremely powerful, and your life is about to become evidence of that. Things are about to appear as if by magic. You will also have people from your past who want to be in alignment with you. You are going to be amazed at how people who you have had very traumatic experiences with are going to be amazed at how they glaze over those experiences and how they speak about you. They're going to speak about you as if you are the best thing since sliced bread, even if you don't remember having a very joyous time with them. And this is because all of the tumultuous relationships, those past cycles, are moving out. A lot of you are being vindicated. A lot of you have been under attack simply because of who you decided to align with. A lot of you were this close to altering your destiny. It's almost as if your person's heart is coming through, asking you to really view them from a higher perspective or view this situation from a higher perspective here, because I'm definitely getting that your person is coming to the awareness that they were in the wrong place, that they made the wrong choices, and it's actually hitting them, you know, like out of nowhere. But I'm definitely picking up that this, this energy in their lives is very intentional, very strategic energy, very low vibrational, and it's almost as if your person wants you to see what it is that they're dealing with here. This may be a massive karmic cycle, a massive one, one that may have taken a very, very long time. Okay, let's get the next message here. Wow. We have beyond what you can see. I just got faith. Your person is in this place where they are literally tapping into their faith. Their world around them is not a reflection of what it is that they want, but they're at this place where they really have faith. They really believe that they can have this. Oh my gosh, I'm also getting that your person is realizing that this energy is strategic. It's almost as if they're separating this karmic energy from the person and really seeing it from a higher perspective and understanding that this energy was literally set on their path to alter their destiny, to make sure that they don't become who they are supposed to become, that they don't fall in love with who they are supposed to fall in love with. Nothing is by coincidence. If you're in a situation and it doesn't feel right, it's because it's not right. A lot of times we overcomplicate things. We try to make things fit, like two puzzle pieces that are out of place. It just won't fit, and it's because it's not supposed to. A lot of people stay connected to these lower energies because they refuse to do the work. From Divine Muscular Type yes if you believe. My beloved love, someone's person is really going through a massive, massive awakening at this time, and not only are they going through an awakening, they are shifting. They are taking action to get into alignment to where it is that they need to be because they're understanding that the longer that they stay attached to this energy, the longer that they are going to be kept from their destiny. Every single day that they have to bask in this energy is completely uncomfortable, it's completely painful. It's not easy and it's not for the weak. I don't get that energy from this person. I get the energy of a person who you know, was molded a certain kind of way and had a very different idea of what love was. And so that's what they attracted into their lives, and then they had to awaken to what love really was. And now, there's a clearing that's happening right now, and this clearing may not be pretty, you know, but I'm definitely getting that this person is showing up. This person is willing to do the work, and this is your sign right here. I definitely feel that there is this new energy that wants to emerge within the connection, okay? Definitely heavy influences from this new moon in Cancer, 
which is all about relationships and connection. You know, your heart space, what it is you want your relationships to look and feel like, okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull a few messages from the heart-to-heart -heart love messages back here, just to see where your person is on the journey, what it is they're feeling about you and slash or your connection at this time. Okay, let's go ahead and get the first message. Wow! The first message we have here is we need to talk, okay. So honestly, I'm picking up that this is like a dual energy. I feel like the divine feminine, you're at this place where you can't really read your person's energy. Okay, and I'm feeling like they're feeling the same way about you at this time. It's kind of like this moment in time is serving as some kind of checkpoint within your connection. I definitely feel that there has been a lot of delays in the 3D here, and there's really a need for you to kind of check in with one another to see how you both are feeling, to see how this connection is progressing at this time. I definitely feel you both wanting to engage energetically, okay? There could be a lot of telepathic communication going on right now. I'm picking up on a very, very intense energetic bond between you and your person. But as you stand right now on your journey, I definitely feel like an emotional exchange is needed. I feel like you both are at this place where you kind of understand what it is, okay. The divine masculine may not be in a place where they know the correct terms for it, but as far as the intensity, as far as the feeling, I feel like you both are on the 